morning good morning good morning it is saturday morning um we are up i'm ready to go into town i'll show you my outfit in a bit um i'm right side but i've got a stinking migraine but i just know i've got a persevere today um i can't just stop otherwise what i need to do won't get done so i'm gonna try keep going i've taken a migraine tablet it's dulled it a little bit but i haven't really done much um but yeah we're gonna go on into town so i'll take you with me <laughs> so here is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my Doc Martens, my leather look leggings from Simply B, this fur gilet from Simply B, and then this um, lime green jumper, which is actually from Capsule, which I'm not sure. I want to say it's from ASOS, but don't quote me on that. And then my glasses are just from Fumu and my claw clippers Primark. And then we'll head into town. Here we are pulling up into town. We've parked in um, the side street, really, because I can with my disabled badge. We went into Deutschmann, is that how you say it first? And um, there were some handbags I thought Jack's mum would like, taking a note for them for Christmas. Then we looked through the shoes, we went through the women's shoes first. I'm not sure why, because they want, I don't need shoes. We were there for Jack. They had some lovely boots, um, some similar to Doc Martens. They had some knee-high boots. They had some similar to the new UGG boots that are in fashion. Um, they're not for me, to be honest. I do find like the tall UGG boots with the boot uh, bows on cute, but I just don't think they're quite my style. I do have something similar in Skechers, though. They are really comfy. We were looking for shoes for Jack to take with him when he goes on his stag. Um, in the end, we went to shoes only, settled for a pair of boots. But he wasn't sure if he wanted like trainer style boots. Um, what he wanted really. But Deutschmann had a lot of different different options. And I'm definitely going to have a look there to see what they have in the way of shoes for the mentor at the wedding. There's also shoes there in shoe zone that'll do for the wedding. But can't go wrong really. We then went into Primark. And if you look at this scarf here, I was telling Jack how lush it is. And I loved it. And it matched my jumper. Jack's just picking it up for me because I dropped it. And I'm in so much pain I couldn't bend. Um, but it wasn't that expensive. But they want a hat and scarf. To, uh, hat and gloves to match. Otherwise I'd have had it. There I am pointing out the cardigan. And then that the skirt has the same green running through it so it's all matchy matchy then i looked at the pajamas and there was christmas pajamas i think they had ones matching for the whole family so cute and socks for reindeers on can't go wrong with fluffy socks in this weather especially with the fact no one's putting their heating on and then these were the pajamas in memory of um i can't remember her name one of the girls allowed um girls because she passed away from cancer they were donating the money to charity which is really sweet um i can't remember her name sorry about that and then we looked at these grinch pajamas i think these were ones to match with the family as well but they just felt not that i could fit in them but they just felt so cheap and not good and i also find like the character socks they um, shrink really easily, like I wear them once or twice and then they don't fit on my feet properly, so I wouldn't recommend them. And we're just walking through the shoes, looking at the slippers. Um, I could do with a new pair of slippers. I quite like these lilac ones, but I wasn't too sure on them, so I didn't end up buying any. They did have some other styles. I like the ones with eight backs, I do. Um... I don't like a slipper with a back. Well, there was all different types. I do quite like a booty. 
with the soles on them are very good and I like to wear my slippers out as well not like out shopping but they also had behind me as well they have the longer style Uggs and they also have the shorter style Uggs in here so the ones that are like in fashion right now so if you can't afford the real Ugg ones they have them in Primark and they have them in Do Deutschmann so if you're a bougie girl on a on a lemonade budget what is it um champagne girl on a lemonade lifestyle um no that's not it champagne lifestyle and lemonade budget they also had some lovely body scrubs as well these look like a christmas um area good perfect for buying presents they also had a funny colored pineapple bath bomb um, it was pink and gold, not yellow. And then I'm just showing you the bag I like over here. But there was some bitchy girls, so I didn't quite get any film from over here. Um, if you're bitchy, F off. But they had some cute Halloween stuff. Can't go wrong with these cute kits to do with the family. Or just to do yourself, really. Cannot go wrong. And then there's some makeup. I've never really used Primark makeup. But I did want some new hair clips. I like a claw clip to clip my hair in the style that I'm wearing in this video. Um, but they all had summer colours. There's Jack just filming some cute bits. He's partial to a bit of stitchy is. That's a makeup bag. Um, but they're all summer colours. And I don't want, obviously, summer colours. I want, I want winter colours now. But I'm looking at the hat, scarf and gloves. There he is checking himself out, the cheeky boy. I, I like the cream one, but I don't like the style of scarf. Um, oh, that green one's cute. I might have to go back for that. That's real cute. I have the beige. Um, and now I have the lilac set. But you'll see that in a bit. I really like that um, like lilac and green one, but... There's no matching sets. I want a matching set. Um, and then I'm looking for the socks that I got last time. They're, a, they're I'm not sure what branded socks. Obviously, they're Primark. But I'm not sure if they're like boot socks or what they are. But they're really good. Um, obviously, you'll see those in my haul. But I really like them. There they are. I finally... F no, I didn't find them over here. They were over the other side. Um that i didn't see them but they are really really good i really recommend them perfect to wear with like boots or your docks or your converse but they're cute socks but again like i said the character socks i just don't find them worthwhile because they shrink shrink so bloody fast but yeah that was everything i looked at in see, primark i'm very hot and flustered i stopped filming going around the shops because um, I was just getting annoyed and a bit angry and a bit frustrated and the pain in it's like the top of my legs going down to my butt uh, top of my leg by here so say that's my bum it's my I can't show you I can't demonstrate because I'm holding the phone but anyways it's the top of my like bum going all the way down my leg and I oh, fucking hurt so bad so um and my jumper's itchy and it's hot and sticky and everything was just getting a bit too much so i stopped recording um but we are off to aldi now i did get some bits in primark <laughs> bless you to show you and jack got some shoes that i'm going to show you and yeah we're heading to aldi now it's aldi time so we just popped to aldi to get some essential bits and some bacon bits but this is the journey, but I'm not showing you in there because it is chaotic on the weekend. Right, so we are back home now, back at the house, and I feel absolutely rubbish. The pain in my like backy bum area on my leg is insane. It's really hurting, and that's coming from someone who has pain every single fucking day. But I thought I would show you what I got shopping before we get into the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got. So I got this exfoliating. This is from the pound shop, this is. So everything was around the one pound area. So this is exfoliating. Let me start again. Exfoliating mitt for a deep body scrub. There we go. I thought it like, looked quite good. And 
a bit more natural than the um jack is not going to be able to get his hand in there to scrub me obviously that's just a dry scrub but it feels feels quite good to be honest let me go up to where my arms rushing I don't know if you can see, but that's made it look so much better already. Obviously, the bumps are still there and the discoloration is still there. But it's not as rough and yucky. Um, so I think getting into using this prior to the wedding will help dull it down so it's not as prominent on the wedding. Um, and then I picked up this polish. There it is. It is in the shade Tequila Sunrise. I just thought it was a nice pinky, reddy, orangey colour. I really quite liked it. And that was, again, obviously from Prime Poundland. And then I got a Pepsi Max and Jack got a Pepsi. I'm actually going to have a sip of this because I'm thirsty. And this was actually like pound fifty. No, it was a pound, but the normal Pepsi was 75p. You don't usually see that. But I'll go to Shoe Zone next, and Jack got these uh, boots. He went for the brown ones. Obviously, he'd like branded ones. We don't have the money for Timberlands. Um, well, no, we don't have the money for Timberlands. Mine are back from when I was, like, 19. But here they are. Not too bad. I prefer these to the light brown colour. Um, so we went with those. And how much did your boots cost? 20 quid? Yeah. And they're only 20 quid, so you can't go wrong, really. And then next up, Primark. Now, I don't quite fit into their clothes, so I only get accessories. But let me show you what I got. Um, this colour is beautiful. Obviously, when I was walking around the shops, you've seen the lime green one. I absolutely fucking love that one. Lime green is one of my favourite shade like colors but they didn't have the hat and gloves to match so i didn't get it because i want a matching thing so i went with the lilac and the scarf was six pound more expensive than i thought it was um i got the hat to match here it is oh well, the hat's a bit lighter but it was three pound fifty and then i got the gloves Oh, which were a pain. I'm not fussed on the fluffy material, but there we go. And there is the set all together. I actually can't wait to wear that. I think it's going to look so cute. Um, yeah, that is cute with my blonde hair. I'm sorry, that is lush. I like that. And this product made using recycled polyester as well. So, not too bad. And then... Last but not least, I got some other bits. Well, not last but not least, because I got three items. So I got these socks. I got these socks. Oh, they got fluff on it. Before, I brought two packs of these before, and they were really good. They go really well with, like, my Dot Martins, my Dots. So I got them again. They're two packs, two pairs of socks, £3.50. Again, they're made using recycled plastic, size 4 to 8, and they're just nice and they're thick, but they're not too thick. So I got two more packets of those. Um, I would buy more, but they're £3.50. They're not the cheapest. And then I needed a new claw clip. And my pink one, I don't know if you can see it, is originally from Prime. Well, it is from Prime, but not originally. But they didn't have many, like, autumn winter colours. They were all, like, summer colours still. So I just went with this pearlescent white one. And it goes with pretty much everything then. I did have one from um, Tesco's. But, like, the teeth on it snapped off so easily putting it into my hair. Um, so, I'm not going to get another one from there. But that is everything we got shopping. Um, well, and, obviously, we went to Aldi and Sainsbury's. I tried to look for the pumpkin spice latte instant coffee mix, the instant latte mix from Sainsbury's, but they didn't have it. I want to try the pumpkin iced pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, but... I'm worried about spending a fiver and not liking it sort of thing. And I was going to get it today when we are in town as we were over there. And then I thought, well, places might not let me in with it when I'm trying to do my shopping. Because we still have to go to Shoe Zone and Poundland. 
um, so I didn't get it and then obviously I have to try carry it as well which isn't the easiest for me um, walking around so I didn't get it but yeah I'm, I really want to try it but I don't know if I will like it because I'm not a massive fan of like cinnamon and all that jazz but yeah I say but yeah a lot but yeah that's it that's all I've got to say for now we are gonna go chill out I've brought some pizza some garlic bread and some chicken bits for us to have for like as a snack and lunch like to have through this area um, and we got some snacks as well we're gonna sit down and watch the Hobbit we're halfway through the first one and then I think we're gonna start the second one as well and just have a chill chill day um, yeah just chill out but uh, I'll show you the rest of my day it's Lord of the Rings time and lunch time we just had some pizza um, some chicken bits and got it bread just chilling out watching Lords of the uh, not Lords of the Rings the Hobbit So I actually started to feel really unwell. So we went to bed for a bit, watched a bit of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and just cuddled and chilled day. I put on my lights on the ceiling and just just took time, took a minute just to try to feel better and make my mind feel easier. Back on the sofa with the boys watching The Hobbit. Still feel a bit crappy, but what can it's you do? It's about 8.30 now. We're about halfway through the second Hobbit film and I'm tapping out. I'm so tired. I'm in so much pain and I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to bed. So I am off to bed and I'm signing off. Um, I'm going to go watch Change with Ninja Turtles for a little bit, maybe one episode if I can get through it. And then I'm going to put Shrek on and then, it, well, I want to say light tape, but it's not light tape because I'm scared of the dark. But that is my day. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon on my channel. Bye.